Welcome. Today we're going to be changing the clutch slave cylinder. So um, we're going to go over how to change it, how to bleed it, easy way, and also how to make your clutch more responsive. And I'll get into that part when we get to the area. Um, with BMW, their brake master cylinder shares fluid with the clutch slave cylinder, so they're not separate. So first thing you have to do is you see my air box there you have to remove your air air filter box cabin filter so you can get you your brake reservoir so you get that done and then we're going to go underneath the car and I'm going to show you what all is involved with it so underneath the car this is what you're going to see generally what I do while the slave cylinder here is still bolted to the transmission I break this nut loose uh, you just want to break the nut loose in the line you don't mess with this one yet and uh, that will hold it in place while you take this loose so I take it loose tighten it back up a little bit and so it doesn't leak fluid in my face and then there's two bolts there's one in the bottom one in the top two nuts rather and you just take those loose and then you can take the line off put something underneath to catch fluid and take it out of there and then I'll show you what you have to transfer over to the other slave cylinder okay with it out you can see this part uh, screws in there and it doesn't come with a new slave cylinder this is what BMW calls a proportioning valve or a restricted valve uh, this is actually a BMW 540i six-speed. In my book, it's a sports car and it runs nice. But BMW does a lot of things to their cars to make sure you don't forget that they are luxury cars. And this is one of them. One of them's a huge exhaust on the back that keeps it quiet. Uh, this, what it does, if you when you take it off and look at it, there's a hole. There's an outlet here on the end. And then there's a hole inside that's quite a bit smaller so what happens is when you have this in there and your fluids in here and you push the clutch in while well, it pushes a pin in and then you let the clutch out well it only lets the fluid back in so fast that way it's supposed to help you shift smoother now it's up to you I've done this um, on other ones and you can tell the difference in the way it runs uh, or the way it shifts I'm sorry but you take a drill bit and you drill it out so the hole is the same size all the way through so you just drill straight down through the inside of it and it's the same size then your fluid is not restricted at all when you let the clutch out the fluid pretty much just goes out you got clutch right away it's up to you if you want to do it uh, but you will notice a difference on how responsive your clutch is anyway so if you drill that out fine if you don't fine stick that in there and then we're going to go bolt bolt it back up um, use a pair of channel locks or something to hold it or you can bolt it back up and then tighten this up real good and then put your line in and tighten that up uh, either way will work but anyways we're going to stick it back in there next stick our bolts back on and i'm going to show you how we've got to bleed it Okay, so with your valve open underneath there, you get up here, and I put some fluid in mine, but take the cap off, and you'll see this will be low. It's interesting, and the back part here will be empty, and the front part still has fluid, so they are somewhat separated, but they're the same fill. So what you do, you got your valve, your slave cylinder open, you stick a pan underneath of it, and you fill this up full of fluid, and just wait. It'll come out. Um, you know just keep topping this part off takes about 10-15 minutes for it to go through and what you can do is tighten up the bleeder screw on the slave cylinder and go inside and push on the clutch a couple times now you may not have a full clutch at first but you'll have you know you should have something there but just if you have something pumping on it a couple times and uh, you know 
go back down and open the bleeder screw again if you don't have anything you know don't worry about it too much um, you know just go down and open the bleeder screw but in other words you know you just keep opening the bleeder screw and dump fluid in here and gravity will take care of it so this is a good one man can bleed it operation but if you do it like that it works almost a hundred percent you know you may waste a little bit of fluid and you know, fluids not all that expensive and it's a, it can be a little bit time consuming I've had it take up to like a half an hour for all the air to push its way out but if you close it check your clutch you know every 10 minutes or something see what kind of clutch you got and you'll see it it'll start building up and uh, you know when you think you got a full clutch just go down there and open it top it off and let it sit for a few more minutes and you know make sure you got it take it for a little test drive make sure you got a nice full clutch anyway um, that's it for this video but I'll be sure to subscribe I have a lot of videos on uh, BMWs and you know how to fix them some other things too you have a pleasant day thank you for watching